Now we will go to your next question. So Sudhir, tell us how has your journey been since you announced your candidacy? Thanks, Jyotna, for that question. So the journey has been very interesting, I would call it. I met a lot of people after uh, I declared my candidacy. In fact, I got a lot of calls that people wanted to meet. And when I met, there were a lot of people who were supporting. I will say like you know, most of the people who were supporting, but there were like some people who advised me not to run. And uh, in fact, they tried to scare me. <laughs> that the journey is not going to be good for you when you're running because offices running for office is a tough job, tough job in senses that uh, there could be cases where my image would be ruined. There would be things that uh, would be spoken about me that would not be even true. Um, the social media attacks would take place. Even somebody included in his conversation that it may be possible that your kids may be bullied wow. and that would have an impact on the kids also. The most interesting that I found was somebody told me that you will discover things that you have not done or yeah. uh, something that you are not aware about yourself. I was like, what is exactly does that mean? I was like, oh, people create scenarios, people create stories that they will tell about you, which may not be true, which you would discover. And then that's what they posted on the social media. I said, okay. Then I realized, wow, somebody can scare me or people can scare me when I'm running for office. What would be the situation of the, the constituents where they don't have any say? The more people try to scare me with the politics, the more I became stronger and I decided, no, I have to run for my constituents. I have to do the right thing. I have to represent them. That is that has been my journey. <laughs> so yes, I got. I won't say like I got scared, but <laughs> like an, yes, I was trying to be scared. I'm stronger now. Yes, I will take it, however it comes, and I'm coming out as a stronger person. Absolutely. So um, your opponent Laura Samanson is an incumbent. Uh, what sets you apart from her, and why should people vote for you instead of her? So I have put a few uh, agenda items that you would have seen it in the uh, on the flyer also is the one is the transparency. I want to make sure that my constituents, in fact, the whole uh, Forsyth County residents, they have a say in how the money is being spent. So I will be more responsible with the budget. Just taking an example of what we discussed before, you had one of the questions was about the admin building, $114 million being spent on a fancy admin building, uh, which may not be required, I would say, uh, right now, we have sufficient space to house just 500 admin employees. Instead of that, there are projects that can be taken up with suggestion from the constituents, like in widening of the roads. It could be as building more uh, community uh, uh, places where our senior citizens can, uh, can enjoy or have fun. Those things are the ones that can be developed. At the same time, I'm also running for like an integrity. I stick to what I say. And right now I'm making a decision that there should be a term limit, two terms for the county commissioners. We should get fresh people. I am going to stay for two terms once I get elected, that's it. And I followed this, I, I practice what I preach. Two years, I was the APEC president last year, stepped down because I want new people to come, take the responsibility and run the organizations. At the same time, like when I was the uh, IIT president, I stepped down so that new people can join and work for it. Apart from that, I'm also against the high density housing. As I was telling before, that before any planning is done or a permit is given for houses, we have to analyze will the infrastructure be able to support it when I say it's mainly the roads. We don't want to have congestion on the roads. There has been scenarios where there has been voting for um, around 1800 apartments that is not finalized right now for gathering that is coming up. There has to be, there has been a 295 apartments that you can check it out that has been uh, voted. There was another 265 apartments on a 
on a very small piece of land, which makes it the, the highest density of houses in Forsyth County historically that has been approved. That puts a pressure on infrastructure, which is roads, but at the same time on the school system also. So I would like our constituents to have what they are what they needed, which is a happy life.